Alrighty. Here we go. It's a hot one. Mr. Bob. You sure have done your job. Boys and girls of the class of 2023, don't just go to college. Wait, stop the video. Are you saying not to go to college? Because from the second that I started first grade, everybody has been telling me I need to do good so that I can go to college and get a good job. Now you, my dad of all people, is saying that I should not go. Silly, silly, silly. Once again, you're not listening to me. So have a seat and listen up. The saying is don't just go to college. The problem is with the last say five to ten years of college students is they've grown to be very demanding. They think that they go out and they get some degree that the world owes everything to them. But it doesn't. Going to college does not entitle you to the best pay, the best jobs, the best anything. All it means is that you manage to spend two or four or six or eight years doing the same thing that you did in high school. Attending class, listening to teachers, doing homework and taking tests. And I'm not saying that it's completely worthless, that you should not even think about getting a degree, attending a college, or anything like that. The problem is the reasons, the reasons for going to college. I can tell you now, if you're considering any degree that ends in arts, you might as well just stand on the picket lines and ask for $25 an hour minimum wage because that's where you're gonna be when you finish that degree. Any arts degree is essentially useless. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule. There are some that you can get by on. But for the most part, the market is saturated in what they call soft skills. Everyone out there has an arts degree of some form or another. One thing you have to look at is when you are in your college classes. Look at how many people are in the same major as you, going toward the same degree. If, you, if there are 10 people in your college going toward the same degree as you, that is 10 people in your immediate vicinity that you are going to have to compete with on the job market. Now think about how many colleges are offering that same degree. If it's at least uh, 10 colleges offering that same degree, that just turns your odds into one in a hundred people. And that is just for your graduating class. Now if there are not that many jobs in that market, or it's already oversaturated and overpopulated, where is that really going to help you when it comes time to get your job? Are you going to be the one that stands out above the rest? Because if you are, you had better have the best grades you have ever gotten in your entire life. Because that's where it starts. They, they look at your college transcripts. And if there are three people that are trying to get the same job as you, and one of them has one percentage point of a better GPA than you, then you might as well go stand on the unemployment line. Or you can just not go to college. Go to a technical institute. Go to a trade school. Learn an actual skill. Learn to use your hands. Learn to make things. Because that is what has caused our country to fall on such hard times, is because we no longer make things in this country. 
we outsource to everywhere else in the world where people aren't afraid to get dirty, where they're not allowed, they're not afraid to knuckle down and build something and make things. And then they ship it back to us. Everyone thinks, oh, you know, the Chinese stuff is cheaper. Well, that's because that's the only place that it's made. I guarantee you, if we had factories full of Americans pumping out stuff like the Chinese factories do, that that stuff would be even cheaper still. And as it stands, the Chinese are going through the revolution that we did, you know, 15, 20 years ago. They're actually starting to outsource their manufacturing to other third world countries. It would be better if our stuff was built here. Again, it goes back to those trade skills. For example, me is I have never wanted for a job. I have never been unemployed for any amount of time that I did not want to be unemployed. I have taken time off of working when I've gotten home from overseas tours. But as soon as I needed to, I've gotten back to work because of those hard skills. Because I know how to fix internal combustion engines. Everything from lawnmowers to heavy diesel, Caterpillar, Detroit, Briggs & Stratton, Honda, Subaru, Toyota, it doesn't matter. Internal combustion engines, I can fix nearly anything. And on top of that, manufacturing skills. I know how to weld, I know how to run a lathe, I know how to run a milling machine. I know how to design and fabricate. I can do it in my head, and I can draft it on paper, in CAD software, and these are all skills that are remarkably short right now. I can go pretty much anywhere, anytime, and have a multitude of jobs on my hand. So I say to you now, don't just go to college. Research your degree. Find out what we need, what your country needs. Find a job that will put food on your table, a roof over your head, and get you all of the things that you want. As my advice to you, the 10 to 12 year olds of the world, I'm hoping to get to you before society has jaded you toward everything that there is. Hopefully, you will be the generation that pulls us up out of what we've become today. Hopefully, we can get back to making things. Hopefully, we can get to making it off of this rock that our entire species is sitting on and that one stray comet can wipe us all out eternally is my words of wisdom and advice and the best that I can do for you out there, the up and coming children of the world. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and peace.